Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then please keep watching. I look like I'm crazy. <laughs> I just woke up, um, so please excuse me if I look like a little tired. Um, I'm going to be starting to film my videos in the morning instead of doing anything after work. Um, I feel like the morning is more productive for me. So if you see me, we're gonna be waking up together. Good morning. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is priming our face. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is my absolute favorite. I think I use it every single day. <laughs> Make me alive. We're then gonna be priming our eyelids to ensure that our eyeshadow stays all day, all night, wherever we're going, events, work, grocery store, Target. So I'm gonna be using the MAC Cosmetics Painterly Paint Pot. So please excuse the fact that this palette is so dirty. I've been using it literally since the day I got it a couple weeks ago. <gasps> Okay, so this is the James Charles Morphe palette, Unleash Your Inner Artist. I am obsessed. I mean, look at the shades on this. The colors are so beautiful for every season, for every event, for every day, for Halloween, for, I mean, you can mix this with anything. Um, it's just an absolutely beautiful palette and the pigmentation is just like on point. So you can use you know, some of the lighter colors to mix with the darker colors for transition shades. I mean, really, it's Unleash Your Inner Artist. You can do whatever you want. There are no rules to makeup. So I really love this palette and I love what it stands behind. Um, so yeah, I've been using this nonstop. So we're going to use this today. So the first shade I'm going to be going in with is this one right here. And this is going to be our transition color. So we're putting this right in the crease and blending up so that all of our other colors that we lay down are perfect and seamless. Next shade we're gonna be going in with is this one right here. For this shade, I'm gonna be using a smaller brush. We're gonna be putting this color directly into the crease. So I'm just going to blend that like so. And I'm really not moving that color too far. I'm really just, I'm blending it directly in and a smidge up, not much though because I want to keep that nice and close and cut into that crease. This is the color too. You want to really make sure you blend, blend, blend. Just keep blending until it is to your perfection of how you like it. So one of the things I love most that James did in this palette is he put pans on steroids in the middle and I am like living for that because I love the shades that are in the middle. You know, I use his black all the time and this is hands down my favorite brown lid shade. I don't know if that makes much sense to anybody, but like I'm very particular about like my lid shade of brown. Um, and this is just like the perfect one. So we're going to be putting this on the lid today. I just went in and did like the total opposite eye of what I've been doing. <laughs> this whole time. Can you tell it's early? It's early. So I did just go ahead and pop on some lashes. These are the Ardell Glamour Lashes. Okay, so I wanna show you guys a trick that I've been doing the last couple, I wanna say maybe like last couple months, like two or three months. Um, I just don't know how I'm going to film it or if you're going to understand it. So we're gonna give it a try. So with lashes, I used to line with eyeshadow you know, the edge of my eye, just to make it look more complete, to give it, you know, that eyeliner look. Um, but the last couple months, I've been noticing that it's just, it's closing off my eyes. Like I have fairly big eyes, not large or anything of the sort, but I know I don't wanna close them off. Um, so I've actually been lining underneath here with eyeshadow. I've noticed that it just makes my makeup just look totally put together, makes my eyelashes look a little thicker, really brings the eye up instead of closing it off. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going into James's palette and using his amazing pigmented black. So I'm using this one right here and I'm gonna be taking this small Morphe M432 brush, just a small angled brush and I'm gonna be dipping it into that black, 
Like I said, I'm trying to show you guys this trick. I don't know how well it's gonna come out on camera, but what I'm just gonna do is just pat underneath my eyelashes. Again, I mean, I've been doing this every single day for the last couple months. Be careful. Please don't poke your eye out by any means. I mean, just be careful. If you're into makeup, try this trick out. If you're not into makeup, just gradually work up to something like this. Um, like I said, I'm only here to share my tips and tricks. Um, so this is just something I've been doing. And just go gently. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can. I can see it that these lashes look so much thicker than these. And it just gives you a little more oomph to the look. So I'm just gonna go in and do this one. Okay, okay, we're good. So next thing I'm gonna be doing is coating my lashes with mascara. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, so now onto foundation. I feel like you can never get your hair like far enough away from your face without looking like you're bald, you know? I'm gonna leave it there, we'll just see how it goes. So today I'm gonna be going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I am obsessed with this. I mean, this is like my number one question when I'm out. Anywhere I go, if somebody says I like your makeup, it's like, what foundation do you use? Hands down, that's my question. And I'm always like, girl, drugstore brand, CoverGirl, get it, you need it. And that's exactly what I say. I'm not even remotely joking. I'm like, you need to go out and buy it right now because this is like hands down my new holy grail. So I'm gonna be applying this today with a Morphe M439 brush. I also love this brush. It's just, it makes your skin look perfect. And all you really need to do is just tap. Nothing hard, just a light, soft tap. Next up, we're gonna be using the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna be concealing underneath our eyes, our forehead, our nose, and a little bit of our chin. <laughs> Check. I'm then just gonna be setting underneath my eyes. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. We're then just gonna be going in and setting our entire face. Today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder. I love this powder. I love, love, love this powder. This is such a great, affordable, full coverage powder. <laughs> Hands down, there's nothing left to say. I love it. <laughs> I slept on my hair last night, like wet, and I feel like, I feel like today it looks like straw, which is not a good look for me. <laughs> As you can tell too, I also hit pan on it, so you really know that I'm like super obsessed with it. <laughs> So I did just go and do my eyebrows off camera, just so you know what I used. I used the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I will have it linked below. Next, I'm going to be going into contour. Today, I'm using the Balm Take Home the Bronze bronzer in the shade Oliver. It's really hard for me to find a bronzer slash contour shade recently. I don't know, I guess because it's winter and I'm just like extra pasty. <laughs> it's like hard for anything to not make me look like I rolled around in mud, so I do love this one though. Next we're going to be adding a little bit of color to the face. Today I'm using the Morphe Blush Trio Pop of Rose in the shade, I want to say it's called Legendary, yep, shade Legendary. So just going to pop this on the cheeks. I don't leave the house without blush. Just a fun fact. <laughs> I really don't. Unless I'm going like no face, bare naked, well bare naked face, um, I don't leave the house without blush. This is like something that like really brings me to life, you know, really brings you to life. So before I show you this palette, please excuse how ridiculous it looks. Um, I like almost don't even want to use it. It's that crazy. Um, but it just goes to show I like adore this palette. Like I adore it. Um, it's just, it's just a little dirty, just a smidge. 
Um, but yeah, we're going to be going in with the Pure Cosmetics. Yeah, I told you it was crazy. I told you it was crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this highlighting palette, if you couldn't tell. Um, especially these two shades right here, Sultry, Sultry and Frostbitten. We're going to be using, let's see, we're going to use Sultry today. We're just going to be highlighting our cheekbones, down the bridge of our nose, and forehead. I mean, like, that highlight dough. It's so pretty. Oh, we can't forget the cubist bow. Must highlight the cubist bow. So I'm going to be jumping back into this palette to do our lower lash line, and I'm going to be using this shade right here. Not done yet, but I'm going to be setting my face only because when I do my bottom mascara, if I do my setting spray after, it like completely destroys like my bottom mascara. It just runs all over the place and goes crazy and it just doesn't like me. So I'm going to be setting my face now. So I'm using the Urban Decay setting spray and this is the All Nighter. Next, I'm going to be lining my lips with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner. This is in the shade Caramel Nude. For lip today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crush. Then to top that off, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. So this is the final result for this look. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. And until next time, I will see you guys soon.